Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. As you can see, I'm getting ready to mess with the bees. Um, I did not do a video installing them because there's tons of videos on how to install bees and the day I went to install them was pouring down rain. Just not a very conducive day to film. Uh, I got the hives right behind me here. We're gonna go ahead and pop the tops, check the sugar levels in my top feeders and just kind of check the health of the hive. All right, hope you can hear me okay. The cows are making a lot of noise over there. These are my two hives. Uh, the, I decided to go for just your normal Langstroth square deep hive body. Um, they're a little taller as you can see here because I have some top feeders on them. And let me pop the tops on these guys here so you can kind of see what's in there. Now, uh, the way I have my feeders set up here, I don't have to put on the bee suit and you know use a smoker just to check the uh, Oh, just to check the sugar levels in my top feeders. So basically, this is the this is the roof here. This is my top board, which for some reason has a lot of mold on it right now. I don't know what's up with that. Let's see if I can pop my top board out here. Now, I will say one thing: you don't really need a hive tool. I pretty much just use my Leatherman for everything. So here's the top board, and it looks like I have some ants down in there. I'm gonna knock those guys out here. All right, now, yeah, I have some mold on this guy. I had been just kind of leaving it out in the sun every now and then just to kind of dry it off and kill the mold on it. I think it's just because I have um, underneath it my uh, top feeder here, which this is a two and a half gallon uh, top feeder. There's a one to one sugar water in here. Uh, there's just two troughs, and as you can see, this little mesh here. The bees come up through the mesh, go down feed, and then go back down in the hive. I really like this type feeder rather than the little jar one on the front, uh, because in the month that these guys have been here, they've already used almost uh, 40, wait, no. Uh, they've used about 45 pounds of sugar um, through the top uh, feed box here, so you can really get your hive going nicely. I'm going to slide this guy off here, trying not to dump it everywhere. And as you hear there, now my bees are kind of a little freaking out here. Um, just going to check kind of the overall health of the hive here. Um, now I don't have a smoker because uh, up until this point, these bees have been really chilled out and really haven't made much, uh, you know, much, or really haven't gone crazy whenever I opened the hives up here. I hope that continues so I didn't bring a smoker with me. I'm gonna grab the camera here and kind of get in a little closer so you can kind of see things. So my bees started out just kind of making comb on a couple of these and now it looks like they're kind of moving out. Last time I checked they had some good larvae in here and uh, hopefully we'll see some uh, we'll see some larvae here maybe even a few bees popping out of their little uh, Oh, popping out of their uh, little uh, cells here. I'm gonna try and get this guy out of here. You gotta be kind of careful not to piss the bees off too much for one, and then also you do not want to take a chance on injuring your queen. So here we go. We got a lot of comb in this one. They're really going along nicely. Uh, they're making some capped off cells here. So they're taking the sugar water from that top feeder and they are making some honey. But I don't see any larvae in this one. So we'll go ahead and put it back, but I'm really happy because this frame is nice and heavy. They're taking a lot of that sugar water and putting it where it's supposed to go. Now, I don't see, if I can get this other one out here, actually looks like I'm seeing some propolis on the sides of my hive here, which I, See if I can pop this frame out here and kind of take a look at. Oh no, I don't. Never mind. That was just my kind of my imagination there, or is it? Well, let me get these guys over here and I'll take a little bit of a closer look. Oh no, we're good. They're not making anything over there. All right. So looks like they're getting a little irritated with me here. I probably should have brought some smoke, but I'm trying to get these guys out of here a little bit more just so I can film. Uh, so here you go, got some more capped off cells, oh whoops, I kind of squished one of them there, you really want to avoid that. Got some larvae in on this side, over there, which is good, 
See if I can get this guy back in here without squishing any more of my bees. Sorry, dude. I wasn't trying to hurt you there. All right, but it looks like we're doing pretty good. I'll go ahead and pop some of these other frames out of here and take a look at them. <clears throat> Whoops, and I just killed a whole bunch of them there. So I got some nice brood down in this one, which is really what you want to see. So they're going along pretty well in this hive. I think I'm just going to go ahead and close it up at this point since I've kind of pissed them off enough here for the sake of YouTube. But I don't see any, you know, cross comb or anything where they're doing anything stupid. All right, come on, guys. All right, guys, come on. All right, so I have my reducers on here, so they just have a little opening in and out of the uh, hive here as you can see there but they're kind of going back in after i was just harassing them there it looks like they're working their way back into the hive and oh, i think they're uh, doing pretty good i am uh gonna get out of here because they don't really like my camera they're kind of flying around harassing the camera but uh yeah so my bees are doing good um, keep everybody posted with some more updates here, but so far so good. I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please check back to the channel here for some more uh, bee welding and farm videos.